always starts at the base. 304 stainless, 4 inches in diameter. It'll take a while. How you doing everybody? Randy Richard in the shop. Today, I am making this. This is going to be a stop on a hydraulic cylinder for a skid steer. And uh, it's a split collar, pretty simple. I have a little counter bore. It has to have some clearance on some on a, on a weld. So we'll uh, we're going to make that. And this is three and a half inches OD. That's what we're going to make it out of. This is a some stock I had sitting around, four inch, 304 stainless. We're gonna bore a big ass hole in it, and uh, and we're gonna kick off a bunch out here, so uh, or a quarter of an inch, and then we'll surface finish isn't perfect out here, so we'll uh, we'll clean it up a little bit more when we're done when we get everything done on this end. I don't know, shooting for three and a half, that's probably good enough. I'm 
I'm going to use drills up to the largest one I have, and that is going to be an inch and five thirty seconds. Uh, so we'll just drill it up, and then then we're going to bore it to an inch and five eighths. I'm just starting with a half inch drill here. I put a fresh grind on it. Should work a little better. Uh, this is a three-quarter inch solid carbide boring bar uh, with you know small insert in it, and uh, and we're going to make a pass to calibrate the DRO, and then we'll uh, get busy with it. <laughs> You're not going to see much, uh, you know, doing boring, it's kind of hard to tell, but I'll just make multiple passes until we're to size. This doesn't need to be a super accurate hole, really. Um, it, the, we're just going to make it one and five eighths. The shaft is inch and a half, so it has plenty of clearance. Okay, it's all uh, counterboard, bored out. We're going to flip it over, grab it on here, turn the OD, face it on the other end. Uh, just a simple, simple flip around.
flavor. A little chamfer on there, and this is ready to come out. Uh, so there, this is ready to come out. We'll take it to the milling machine. We'll, we'll put some uh, screw holes in it, and then we're going to split it in half. Splitting in half is going to be the hard part. Not sure how I'm going to do that yet. Kind of, kind of warm. And it came out really nice and good enough for. And this is on. This is on a Bobcat skid steer, and this is going to get beat up, probably. So uh, it's kind of heavy duty for what it is, but this is what needs to be uh, on the cylinder there. It's the only thing we can come up with. We need to have a stop and not damage anything. So like I said, we'll put some screw holes in and to hold it together and, uh, then, we'll, and then we'll cut it in half. All right, we've got this piece in the mill. We're going to, we found the center across to here and we'll find the center this way and then we'll come out and we'll Run an end mill down for the counter bore and then we'll drill and tap. We'll put our screw holes in now before we cut this in half. It's a lot easier if it's all together. Um, so we'll just put this up there because I can't reach it all the way down here to the middle. So we'll just go right there and cut that. spot drill that now we're going to drill the tap drill size down as deep as we need to go and then we'll continue with our counter bore here I think that's enough. We've got a thunderstorm going overhead. Taylor a minute ago. Now it's thunder and lightning.
I'm going to drill all the way through. Because this is not a tr tractor and dirt, it's, you put a blind hole in, you know, next thing you know, it's, it's going to end up getting plugged up with dirt. If I can go all the way through, it would be great. See, now it bores down much easier because that center's cleared out. Hopefully I can get the length out of this. Now we're going to go to the other side and do the same thing. The now you're asking, going to ask me about the clearance hole on the top half. We can do that afterwards. Once we have these established, when we cut it in half, we can go. We'll go in and we'll tap that side, and we'll drill this clearance part on this side. But this way they're established, and it will make it a little easier. That way we don't have to match up parts. They're already established where they are. Alright, it's time to come out, we'll figure out where we're going to cut it, and we'll be good. I'm going to go across here, scribe a line, as our line for parallelism, to keep our, line, our center line parallel. 
So I'm just going to scribe a line across there. Call that good, and we'll be able to uh, get a mark where the center is, be able to cut it. So just as I was turning off the uh, camera, power went out immediately, just now. Boom, power's out. There, power's back. We have a generator. <laughs> so, power's back. So, I'll, no more machining for today, and uh, we'll just uh, continue tomorrow. Okay, and we got this out. So there's our counterboard holes, which are just awesome. Looks pretty good, and see how they go all the way through. So when we cut this in half, we'll clearance hold the, the top half and the bottom half, what we just have to tap. And there's our scribe, scribe line to keep things parallel and square with our holes. All right, we got this attached to, to the bandsaw. As you can see here with a strap clamp. Drilled and tapped the hole, strap clamp, and another clamp. And uh, I think this is going to work. It's all lined up. So the cutting went well. Now this way, it's not perfectly square, but it's it's good enough uh, for sure, for what we're doing. Uh, but it's not absolutely perfect, but it's it's pretty darn good. Uh, I'm just gonna tap these by hand. I chamfered the holes. Uh, these are just quarter twenty. Use a well, use a starting tap because it's a lot easier to get the tap straight you do that instead of like a plug tap <laughs> and I really like anchor lube and stainless myself it's it it really works well now like I said and, and in stainless here I usually only do a 50% engagement so I always drill a little, it's always a little bit bigger hole. And it's much easier, you won't break taps. You break taps in stainless, and you say a lot of four letter words. I wanna make sure I have plenty of thread, so I'm going to run a, another tap down in there, plug tap, and uh, just to make sure I have plenty of thread. Yeah, like, yeah, I'm down all the way through the hole that way. Yeah, that, that would be good. All right, uh, that one's the tapped one. And this one here, I just put it in the mill. I forgot to turn the camera on, so I <laughs> put it in the mill and aligned it this way. And it just went through with the clear, lined it up with the uh, drill I used to drill the hole for the tap hole. So it went in perfect and then ran a clearance drill all the way through it. That's all. Came out really nice. So we're just using a quarter 20 by one inch uh, socket head cap screw. That drops right in. And we have plenty of thread engagement there, half, over half an inch. Anyway, so those are, uh, it's going to be on there like this. this there's a weld on the, sh on the bottom uh, where the eye is welded onto the rod of the cylinder. So that weld will have plenty of clearance there. These will go in. Like so, we'll tighten them up. Like 
so and that's our stop pretty heavy duty but it's gonna be it's on a grapple for the skid steer and we're doing this because uh, the design of the grapple and how it interferes with the hydraulic connection so they don't get broken he already broke one and uh, damaged that so we had to fix that and uh, now we're gonna do this and this will stop from there being an interference with the grapple and the hydraulic lines but we're probably gonna put two in we're gonna we'll try it with one but I bet you we'll need to do two so I'll have to make another one but that's okay came out awesome it will uh, work so thank you guys for watching and please ring the notif click that notification bell and please subscribe all that stuff it helps out with the channel and don't watch it on fast speed watch it on fast speed hurts everybody hurts or hurts all the people you watch if you watch them on fast speed <laughs> so anyway thank you guys thanks for watching